Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a game on Scratch called Flappy Bird. But except that it's not going to be a bird, it's going to be a hippo. So let's run it and see how, how it's going to look. So you can see the hippo has to dodge these pipes and if you hit them it says I die. And you can't touch the ground or the sky. So let's get started. Click the create button, and the first thing we need to do is get the hippo sprite, the flying hippo sprite. So we can do that. Click choose a sprite, and let's get the hippo. Here it is. Delete the cap. And let's make it something smaller, like 50, maybe 40. And yeah, that should be good. And the first thing we need to do is when green flag clicked, it has to go to a position around here because we because it always needs to start somewhere up here, not down here. So we can do minus 200 and 100. And we need it to always fall, like forever fall down. So we need a forever. And in the forever, since it's falling down, we need to change the y by something negative. So change y by, let's try minus 10. Let's run it. And you can see that it's going down, but it's always going down with the same, every step, it's going down with the same speed. Not like gravity. Well, gravity, when it falls, it falls slow, 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 and then it goes faster and faster as it gets lower. So for that, we need a variable. So we can click the variables and we make a variable. Let's call it something like fall speed and it can be for all sprites or for the sprite only because first of all, there's only one flying hippo. So there's not multiple, so not every hippo needs its own fall speed because there's only one. And second of all, because we're not gonna be modifying the the value of fall speed in any other sprite code. So, okay. And at the beginning, we can set fall speed to, let's try something like minus 15. And in the forever, we're gonna be changing fall speed by something negative like minus one. And then, and then we change y by fall speed. Now let's test it. And you can see that it pretty much works. The, the lower it gets, the faster it goes. It's pretty good. So now we're ready for the next step, where we basically make an if. And in that if, it will be if he space pressed, then the, then the fall speed will just set it to something higher. So it'll just go higher. So if key space pressed, we need to set fall speed to, let's try five. And it has to be something positive because it needs to go up. If it's negative, it, when you press space, it'll just keep going down. So let's try, and five maybe is a bit too little. Let's try 10. And when I press space, that is pretty good. It goes high. So now we're ready for the next step where we're basically just going to get a next costume thing and next costume block and it's just going to change to the next costume. And we can make sure here that it has two costumes here that make it look like it's flying. So let's go back to the code and you can see here on the here in the screen um it's moving way too fast so let's try putting a weight let's try 0 0.5 seconds and you can see that it's just falling really slowly because it has to wait every step it has to wait a 0 0.5 second time so what we can do instead of putting it here we can get another when green flag clicked and we can put it there and we need to put a forever. So here you go. It works. 
And now we're gonna go ahead to the next step. We're gonna go ahead and change this weight because it doesn't really actually look like it's flying. It's just going at every half second. It's changing to the next costume. That doesn't look like it's flying. So we just need to make this weight a bit smaller. 0 0.3, let's try. Let's run it. And we can see that it's still maybe too less, uh, too much. So we can try 0 0.2. And that should be better. Now we can get the gate, the green gate things that are just going to come from the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen. And you have to pass by them. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. So we can go ahead and upload this. And I already have it here. So there it is. And let's take a look at the costumes of this. So... If we zoom out, we can see that my sprite is not just in the screen. It's outside of the screen, too. This white rectangle is the screen, if you're wondering. And uh, so it's outside of the screen on both sides because if I select it here, you can see that sometimes we're going to want this opening between them to be down here, sometimes up here, and sometimes in the middle or anywhere that around here that you have space. And you can see that if you convert to bitmap then it basically erases everything outside of the screen and you can't position them higher or lower and if you look here on the screen you can see there's a big gap under this so let's go back to vector and let's get coding so we can do when green flag clicked forever it needs to change its x by minus 10. So then it comes towards us. And you can see that it works. Now, also at the beginning, we have to make it go to x 240, because that's the very edge of the screen, and 28. So there you go, you can see that it works. Now, when it gets to this other side, it's, it doesn't do anything because we didn't tell it to. And basically, what we want to do is make an if and say, if it's over here, hide. So, if x position is smaller than minus 240, because it's on the very other side. And... If that's true, then hide. Let's try it. And you can see that when it gets to the side, it hides. Now, at the beginning, we also have to show it because it'll just remain hidden. So we can put the hide, the show, and you can see that every time, that's what it does. Now, we need to make clones because it'll, it's, it's going to be good if we have more then one of these gates appearing at the same time. So here we need a forever. And forever, we're just going to create clones of myself and then wait. I'll just put one second and we'll change it. And then we're going to do, when I start as a clone, do all of this code. So here you can see that it pretty much works. Now it's always coming at the same side, so we can change the Y. And we can actually put a random. So we can try minus negative 200 to 200. We can try that for now. And you can see that uh, that is pretty much good. Let's see if anything else that's not supposed to happen happen. And so, oh, see, that's not good. So we can change it to, let's try minus 150 with 150. Let's try it, and you can see that there's no mistakes. None of them will appear lower or higher than that. So now let's do the next step. Where we're basically going to deal with if the hippo touches the top of the screen, the bottom of the screen, or any of the pipes, then it will say, I died, and that's it and then the game is over. So, but before that, 
we can let's go ahead and replace this hide here with a delete this clone because there's a max number of clones and it'll stop making clones when it gets to max. Now let's deal with it. So the hippo, we need to get an if. Go to the hippo and get an if. If touching. So if it's touching, there are three things. The sky, the ground, or the gate. So we can get or. This or block here. And we can put it here. So if touching. So if touching gate or if it's touching the gate or if the x if the y or if the y position is smaller than if the y position is smaller than negative 179 or if it, the y position is bigger than 179. If it does that, then it will say I died. And then it will stop everything, stop all. So let's test it, and you can see it when it hits the ground, it says I died. And when it hits the pole, it says I died. And now let's test the sky. When it hits the sky, it says I died. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and add a background. So let's choose a backdrop here. And let's find something that looks like a flappy bird background. Um, this looks cool. Let's look for some more. Yeah, there's really nothing else but this. This looks pretty cool. So that's a good backdrop. Now let's go ahead and let's make two variables, score and high score. And so let's make score first and make sure it's for all sprites. Okay. And at the beginning, we need to set score to zero. And then every time it pass, every time the gate reaches the other side, you get a point. So, so the score goes up by one. So here in this if, at the gate uh, code, change score by one. Let's test it. And you can see that when it, the gate reaches that, the score goes up by one. Now let's make high score. So this one, let's name it high score and make sure it's a cloud variable because it's it always needs to remember this, the information. So it always needs to remember the high score. So, okay. And we don't want to set high score at the beginning to zero because it then it'll just set it to zero and it won't remember the original high score, which is the high score we need to remember. So instead, let's go to the hippo and we need to make an if inside of this if. So when it dies, we need to ask itself, we, we need to ask ourselves if score is bigger than high score, then we need to say, cool, you made a high score and then ch set high score to score. So if, make sure you put it inside of this other if. And so if, high, if score is bigger than high score, then we need to do it. So if score is bigger than high score, then we need to say, you made a high score. You made a high score. And then set high score to score. And let's run it and we can test and see that I, it says I died and then I made a high score. 
because I got sc score five, and so it changed it to it changed the high score to five. So let's do the last step. We're basically we're going to wait start the game only when you press space. So you can do that by first getting another when green flag clicked, and then we have to do broadcast a message. So broadcast message, new message, and let's call it start. And right before you broadcast that message, we're going to wait until. So this block right here. Wait until space key pressed, key space pressed. And then we're just going to change this with when I receive start. And same with the gate. So let's test it. And you can see that when I sp pressed space, it starts. Now, before I press space, it's still moving its wings bef because this is still happening. Let's hide these variables because you can't really see because of them. And move this here and move the high score here. And now let's just test it one final time. And you can see that the hippo is all the way down here. It will be cooler if before the game starts it was like right here in the middle. So let's do that. We need a go to and put it right here. So go to x minus 185 and 25. So let's run it and you can see it starts right there. And when I press space, the game starts. Now you can go ahead and name your project. We can call this Flappy Bird or Flappy Hippo. And then save the project. And thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you next time for another game you can make on Scratch.